My name is Megan and my daughter Raylan, she's four years old and she has a mutated gene and it's the MYLK gene. Learned at eight months old, she had her first stroke and she has had seven strokes since then. She has a rare vascular disorder um, that it, it's hard for blood flow to get through her body and it has caused her to have strokes, it's caused her to have a systemic problem throughout her whole body, getting blood to her kidneys, getting blood to her brain, and uh, it's a de novo gene, which we have found out through whole exome sequencing testing that uh, she's the very first one that we know of to have this, and it's, uh, it's a condition that since the strokes have happened, she has lost her ability to walk, her ability to talk, her ability to eat by mouth. She has a feeding tube and um, we, I don't know, I, I guess we, we struggle with it every day knowing that there's not another person out there that that has that at this point. So it's really hard to connect with anybody really um, on what she has. Uh, we have people in our community that have strokes, but they're for different reasons. Um, and it's not a blood clot reason or anything. She's on blood pressure medications to keep her blood pressure up and to perfuse the brain and um, to keep the blood flowing through her small vascular system. And we have learned that her vascular system is completely different than a normal person's. It, she doesn't have, uh, we, we have two carotid arteries and two vertebral arteries and both of her carotid arteries are occluded and one of her vertebral arteries are occluded. So she only has blood flow up one of the vertebral arteries. So the blood flow is, um, I guess, has rerouted itself to get to parts of her brain. So with that, um, it's a lot harder, which is causing the strokes. So. so right now, we are currently patients of Rady Children's Hospital down in San Diego. We're frequent flyers there. And uh, last year, uh, last summer, we were at UCSF uh, for a month there where a team of doctors looked at her, stroke specialists there, they were wonderful. They did the whole uh, genome sequence testing with her. They um, came up with ideas as far as should we do surgery, but it, it was too complicated and it probably wouldn't have worked out, so we ended up not doing it. Um, but we were, we were kept there for a month uh, and I, the, the plan of care for her now is to keep her blood pressures up. Um, she has to be on a blood pressure machine. We have to take a blood pressure every single hour during the night to make sure that those levels don't drop uh, below 100 systolic blood pressure. She's on um, different medications to help raise her blood pressure because anytime she, her blood pressure falls below 100 systolic, she could have a stroke. So we're, we're within 100 and 150 systolic blood pressure um, at all times because she could stroke for her blood pressure being too high or she could stroke if it's too low. So we really have to have that blood pressure monitor on us at all times to make sure that she stays within uh, a reasonable systolic blood pressure. The plan of care right now is just to watch her and um, I was talking with somebody today that said that the next step would probably be because she had the exome sequencing test done that she needs to do the genome sequencing to really target uh, the MYLK gene and look into it further. and. Uh, just to keep her healthy and keep her from having another stroke. So that would look look like to us to have the, uh, the blood pressures monitor, like I said. She has the feeding tube, so we have to have um, her hydrated at all times and through the night she has to be hooked up to the feeding tube um, to keep those blood pressures up. So um, with that, that's, that's pretty much her plan of care and she's got a, um, a bunch of doctors, a stroke specialist. She has 
has neurology, she has uh, nephrology for her kidneys, she has neurosurgeons on board, so she has a whole team of care up at UCSF and at Rady Children's Hospital uh, following her. And I know she's in a couple of different studies. We have studies up at the, um, the NIH, uh, a study in Texas, and a study at UCSF right now that they're currently looking further into um, what's going on with her.